Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Neo Otto, and for today's video, we're gonna be discussing the upcoming mid-engine Corvette. After years of research and development, Chevy is finally ready to release the next generation of Corvette. It's a really big deal, and for the first time ever, it's going to be in a mid-engine configuration. Now, people have a lot of questions about this car. How much is it gonna cost? What kind of power is it gonna make? And what exactly will it look like? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the latest news on the mid-engine Corvette, and I'm also gonna be showing you some leaked spy images of the car, so let's get started. So let's begin with the announcement. On April 11th, Chevy pulled a publicity stunt by driving a camouflaged Corvette around Times Square, New York. Now we had seen spy footage of these camouflaged Corvettes before, but this time around, a date was printed on the side of the door. The person driving the car is the Corvette chief engineer, and the woman in the passenger seat is the General Motors CEO. The Corvette was accompanied by a fleet of Suburbans, and as you can see, it received a lot of attention. When the car finally made it to its destination, Chevy finally confirmed confirmed that the mid-engine Corvette is real, and they also announced the reveal date as July 18th, 2019. Now looking at that date, you'll notice that the number 8 is red. Well, this is of course to signify that this is the 8th generation Corvette. This has to be one of the biggest car announcements of the decade. Not only is the next generation Corvette coming, but it will also be the first time it's offered in a mid-engine configuration. Now something you may not have noticed is that Chevy placed three mysterious stickers on different locations of the car. They're not very big, but if we take a closer look, we can see that the sticker shows what appears to be a silhouette of a man. This man is none other than Zora, the man who helped shape the Corvette into what it is today. Zora, also known as the father of the Corvette, joined the Corvette team in the early 1950s. His ambition was to make the Corvette capable of competing with European sports cars. All Corvettes are high-performance cars. The difference is only in degree. He firmly believed that in order to be truly competitive, the Corvette would need to go mid-engine. The engineers working on these experimental mid-engine Corvettes knew they had potential, but corporate management never gave it the green light. Many mid-engine experimental Corvettes were created, but none of them ever made it to production. By 1975, Zora was ready to retire. The new Corvette chief engineer would be Dave McClellan. When Zora was leaving the building after retiring, he told Dave McClellan, Dave, you must build the mid-engine Corvette. So as time passed, more mid-engine Corvettes were designed and tested. But once again, none of them ever went into production. On April 21st, 1996, Zora passed away. But his legacy lives on. 23 years after his death, a mid-engine Corvette is finally coming to production. If only he were here to see his dream become a reality. Now, you're probably wondering, what's going to happen to the front-engine Corvette? Well, Chevy announced that the next generation Corvette will not offer a front engine variant. Production of the current C7 Corvette will be finished by the end of this summer, making it the end of an era. Although it's a little sad to see the C7 go, after all, it has been over 50 years the car has been in a front engine configuration, this mid-engine variant is going to have so much performance potential. And in addition, Chevy hopes that the new direction for the Corvette will help to attract younger buyers. And in order to be a success, this car has to look good. So what exactly will it look like? Well, thanks to the internet, this car has already leaked. The first leak is a picture of the back end of the car. It was posted by an Instagram user, and it looks pretty legit. All the basic proportions line up with what we've seen on the test mules. Comparing it side by side with the C7, it doesn't look completely different, but it certainly looks like they've twisted things up. Now there's also been another leak, and this one shows the front end of the car. This picture was shared by YouTuber StreetSpeed717. Now we don't know how he got this picture, but it does look like it's real. Both of these leaked images show the car in the same color of blue, which only further proves their credibility. So it's very likely these are real pictures of the car. But to fully understand what this car will look like, take a look at this render. <laughs> 
A talented user on the mid-engine Corvette forum closely examined the test mules, and he created a virtual reality model. Now, I just had to show you this clip because it looks so good. It's cool enough getting to see a rendered image, but to actually see the car as a virtual reality model, it just takes it to a whole other level. This model is so detailed. You can see the Brembo brakes, and it even has that new updated C8 logo on the hood. This person is obviously extremely talented and put a lot of work into creating this model. And I would say it's 99% likely this is what the car will look like. I mean, if we compare it with this leaked image, it looks nearly identical. When Chevy reveals the mid-engine Corvette, it will most likely be available in different variations. According to insiders, the base model will be equipped with a 500 horsepower, naturally aspirated 4.2 liter V8 engine. However, other insiders have said they believe the car will come with the V8 that's currently offered in the C7, making 460 horsepower. But what most all the insiders agree on is that the transmission will be a dual clutch with paddle shifters. In other words, a Corvette with a manual transmission may be a thing of the past. No! 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 It's bittersweet seeing these American icons moving away from the manual transmission. Yes, the DCT will improve performance tremendously, but in my opinion, driving with a manual transmission is an experience that just can't be replicated with an automatic. At the same time, I've never driven a car with a DCT, so maybe I would feel different given the opportunity to drive one. Either way, it's starting to look like the end of an era. The manual transmission is starting to disappear. Now, in addition to the base V8, Rumor has it that Chevy will also reveal a twin-turbo V8 that could make around a thousand horsepower. Supposedly, this trim level is going to be called the Zora, which is a great idea by Chevy. As far as pricing goes, a base model C8 will probably be in the sixty to $70,000 range. But for the Zora, it will most certainly be six figures. But really, these prices shouldn't come as a surprise. This new generation of Corvette is going to be so capable, and with the new mid-engine configuration, it should be able to compete with exotic sports cars while being considerably less expensive. It's anyone's guess what numbers this car is going to set, but considering we're now dealing with a mid-engine, twin-turbo, DCT car, I would say that Chevy is going to blow us away. I think the mid-engine Corvette is a step in the right direction. Seeing how the car does going head-to-head -head with exotics will certainly be exciting, and it would be great if Chevy does release a high-level trim and calls it the Zora. They couldn't have chosen a better name. The next generation Corvette will officially be revealed on July 18th. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new because once this car is officially revealed, I will release a new video with the updated information. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Are you guys happy with this Corvette? I certainly think it's going to be an impressive car. And seeing it go mid-engine does not bother me at all. But maybe you guys feel different. Let me know in the comments below. I'm Neo Otto, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. All Corvettes are high-performance cars. The difference is only in the grid. Let's go.